Yo, what's good boys? This is a Don Tolliver tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna go make a beat like the ones on his new album, um, Heaven or Hell. So I really hope you guys do enjoy this video. Um, I have actually filmed this intro and outro, as you'll see later on, about a week or so after filming the video. Basically, just to explain why. This beat literally pretty much put me off making beats because it, of how much I struggled with this and like how difficult it was and how just stressful I found it. I don't know, I must have been in a mood that day or something, but I just feel like, eh, I feel like I had to take a break from making music just because of this so but the beat is really good don't let this put you off the video at all this beat is crazy good so i'll let you guys go watch this now hope you enjoy peace let's go headphones <sighs> so i got this preset here called stone flute oh that must see time that maybe quite hard it's quite an interesting sound right there from analog lab i love that preset though i've used it before so I'm, i had to go for it again let's add a bunch of reverb to this let's add a bit of delay triple effect again and then we just that's quite cool uh this second sound should definitely make a sound way better anyway this one is called uh wobbly tape from mellotron sick sound Great for them trippy, like weird melodies. But anyway, I need to turn off that delay. Let's with this a little bit more. I was kind of getting confused there with what the pitch was. So basically what I'm doing is because I've got the half time on this melody, well both of them right, uh, this half time is on 1.5 which means when you play it, it pitches it down by about 5 semitones right, so you need to move it up to compensate right, but I've moved it down, uh, I can't even remember how much I moved it down by now, it's F, but because it's been brought down by 5 by the half time, it's actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, C minor, actually C minor. Right, I want it to be A sharp again, so B minus two. We need to add the same half time effect, but I'm gonna put it in a different channel. Put the same EQ over. We'll even do the same reverb. Put one, this might sound quite cool. So that's sick. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually render both of these out now. And the reason why I'm doing it, I'm doing all of it, is because I don't want it to, the effect sometimes glitches out when you render stuff out and only, and it starts like halfway, so you miss some, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, this is our melody so far anyway. The reason why I'm stemming them out like this into a WAV, into the playlist, is because I really want to mess with them like this. When I've been making melodies recently, I've been doing it this way. It's been working out like way better than I would, but I just kept it like it was in the piano roll. You can just, I just feel like you can do more of it when it's like, a, when it's a WAV like this, you know? Let's 
mess around with this pitch a little bit, see if we can get it sound better in another key. So we pitched it up, yeah, we pitched it up four, so it's now D minor. Uh, we're gonna run with this key for now, it sounds quite cool. And I'm gonna start adding my drums in right now, and then I'm gonna go back to the melodies uh, a little bit later on in the video. Gonna be going for these really sort of interesting bounce type beats. Maybe this ain't the right key. Oh Maybe we'll do plus two. Let's have this melody. Do a little bit of a mad roll right here. Change the second snare for a perk, I think. Oh yeah, this one sounds sick. Oh, this could be sick. Hold on. Definitely unique, which is exactly what we want because a lot of these Don Tolliver beats, they just sound so crazy, like with the percussion and everything. So anyway, let's do an 808. I'm definitely happy with it. F sharp. another melody now uh, this is sounding quite cool I'm not quite sure if this is exactly what I'm going for yet I think we're quite far along now so it's kind of gonna have to be I think I don't really do too much research I only listen for the tape like once so this is just an impromptu thing for this week would be quite fun so I'm gonna roll with it let's open up another Mellotron let's find another preset in here that sounds quite cool that little <laughs> as well RC20 maybe move it along a little bit Oh, 
going there. I literally, I don't know what key to have. I, I literally don't know. I'm just, I just, I'm not sure on any key I'm hearing right now. I just feel like it'd be so much better in another key. But it might, it's probably just because the beat ain't that good. Gonna EQ this, not EQ it, sorry, add a gate. Now, stretch this beat out first. All right, split these this drum pattern by channel to get it all out into the playlist. for that part of the beat low pass maybe something for like this part i guess done with this beat just gonna add a few more little touches up to it make it sound sick and we're good to go english motherfucker, do you speak it maybe we'll do a synth face over this we had an atmosphere Changing the 808, you know, I, I just, it's just gonna sound better as a standard. Let's just try the standard 808, you know, I'm just. Alright, that's 
decent. So that's pretty much the beat done. We'll just break this down real quick. So we've got obviously the main melody. Yeah, I actually half timed it uh, at certain parts of the intro. I think it sounds really cool. Just mute that. And obviously about the half time, it's like this. That sounds pretty cool. Nice little chill melody. Uh, we've got an arcade. Which is just sort of like a background texture type thing to accent the beat. It's quite cool when you put it in. Uh, I put it in at the second half of the chorus, I believe, and also the verse. The yeah, anyway, we did end up changing quite a bit. It was stayed pretty much the same throughout the whole beat, and then we changed it right at the end, and we changed the sound and the pattern as well, actually. So it sounds like this now. So it's pretty cool, pretty simple, decent. We've got a bunch of melodies in here as well. We added this flute. Which just goes really well with the um, this section here. We've also got a synth bass in there, which is pretty complicated. If you guys watched the video, you'll, you'll have known how we did this. It's got a pretty extreme camel crusher on there, just to make it sound like a sort of like a Mike Dean, Travis Scott style synth bass, you know, Kanye even as well. So that's cool. Uh, we've got some rises and falls in there um, at different sections of the beat just to lead into the next section, you know, with the transitions. Uh, we've gone pretty crazy with the hi-hats and the snares. We'll just play that. Just really unique stuff, you know, like the typical... It's sort of inspired by like Wonder Girls production on the album, to be honest with you. I think she had her hand in quite a few of the songs on there. Um, but overall, yeah, that's pretty much the beat, as you can see. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you're new around here, please do subscribe. Make sure you drop a like on this video. Follow me on my social medias. They'll be on the bottom of the screen. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, I forgot to mention as well. The drums we're using this video are all from my new drum kit, the Psycho Drum Kit. If you guys want to check that out, um, by all means, click the link in the description. It will take you to my store. You can check it out for yourself. Yeah, that's all. Peace. Jack, this one's cold.